social media gives you a chance to engage with people who love you. Now I'm able to get on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter and put up something funny and my people tell me, you know, we like that, Snoop, keep doing that. You know, if I do something crazy, like, don't do that, dog. we don't like that. For me, South by Southwest is my favorite of the year, bar none. You see a lot of different cultures represented. And then there's just people that are here partying. I don't know what day we're on anymore. I've lost track of time. South by Southwest is the premier festival for technology, music, and film. And every year it descends on the city of Austin, Texas for a world-class celebration of culture and ideas, spanning 10 event-filled days of panels, workshops, screenings, and showcases that attract the leading tastemakers and trendsetters of our time. Basically, you have a critical mass of really influential people from East Coast, West Coast, all over the U.S., from around the world. It's a San Francisco, L.A., New York comes to an Austin context event, which I think creates a lot of magic, of course creates a lot of social interaction, creates a lot of content, but creates a lot of jockeying and strategy. It's fun to watch everybody trying to get theirs. This is a place where apps are born, where partnerships are forged, and the next big thing is discovered. Yeah, this is like trial by fire for social media, right? and social media products. And if you can, you can be useful and handle things in South by Southwest, you have a shot at the rest of the year. There's nothing like it. South by is its own thing. It's a madhouse. But more than anything else, this is a social place where the desire to connect and share practically hums in the air. This is the techiest, businessy, marketing, media, technology intersection. And so there, you've, got, you've got a lot of energy of bravado and ego and humility and thought leadership and sales and marketing. It's a uniquely social event because there's so many people with common interests speaking the same language, using the same tools. It's interesting, you could make the case that Twitter would not exist without South by Southwest. In 2007, Twitter was just a few months old and struggling to prove its worth with only 20,000 tweets sent per day. But when it arranged to put a visualization of the service on two flat panel displays in the South by Southwest Convention Center, usership jumped to 60,000 tweets per day as people discovered Twitter's value as a real-time information network, giving the company the momentum it needed to finally take off. Ever since, South by Southwest has been deemed one of the most effective testing grounds for social media apps, with services such as Foursquare, Pinterest, Storify, and others finding critical success here. But what is it that makes the festival so uniquely suited as a launchpad for new apps and technology? It's a preview of a society where we're even more connected than we are in 2015, in the sense that you've got so many people who are so hyperactive on these uh, social networks, and and various other technologies. And, and so again, it's a great testing ground. If you made it to South By, chances are they've decided that you have some sort of significance and that you're doing something different that people should pay attention to. If you can break out here, then the theory is you can get traction elsewhere. Um, you gotta make a product that the influencers want, that the social, that the early adopters want, but you've also gotta make something that is gonna be mass and that everyone wants. But it's definitely a great springboard. So what attracts people here? What makes the conversations flow? And who are the people who work behind the scenes to make sense of all the chatter? Hootsuite set out to discover the secrets of South by Southwest success, delving into the history and the culture that have helped the festival become one of the most social events in the world. We're just like a little family. We all really know each other well so that we can work long hours together. With thousands of events happening throughout the festival at hundreds of different venues, social media has become essential for South by Southwest organizers to monitor changes and developments on the fly, as well as handle real-time requests and inquiries from attendees and guests. And all of that social activity is managed by just one small team working around the clock in a mobile command center located deep in the heart of the Austin Convention Center. You have so many platforms that it's hard to focus. And so tools like Nextology and Tradable Bits and Hootsuite have really, really helped us as well as allow us to do better jobs. Over here we've got Nextology and it's kind of telling us uh, what's trending. We open it in Hootsuite and then see what else is people are saying about it. Every five to 10 minutes we've got a tweet going out from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. Social is really what pushed this event. That started with a keynote speaker named Jonathan Abrams back in 2004. He was the founder and CEO of Friendster. 
Mark Zuckerberg has spoken here. Foursquare launched here 2009. So as much as you think you kind of understand this medium, there's still new iterations. Um, and we're lucky that a lot of those new iterations are happening at South by Southwest. As the interactive portion of the festival transitions into music and film, a new vibe hits the air and a different crowd emerges as thousands of independent artists vie for an opportunity to share their work with a new audience. As we roll from uh, film and interactive into music, the vibe kind of changes a lot, the dress changes, the hours where people are sharing and posting things changes. It's fun to see the population shift from tech and film to music. Drum sets are pouring out of the back of vans and like the percentage of tattoos on the streets has just risen by at least tenfold. There's hundreds of venues playing with thousands of bands every night so our schedules become much more around the clock. For the most part people in interactive are more sharing uh, what they're learning in panels and things like that. And for music, they're still doing that, but there's more of like a promotional vibe because we have so many bands on the ground uh, talking about their shows. There are so many, there's like a thousand bands playing this festival that are just scrambling and they're doing it, you know? It's not just an indie music festival, it's kind of like a everything festival. Social media allows us to recommend to each other. And I think that that is vitally important. I think curation is like one of the most important aspects of our culture these days. I think you need to share as you go as an artist. So I think like social media is very important to what we do. Vitally important. Is a <clears throat> short film that's put on YouTube, is that, a, is that something that belongs in interactive or is that something that belongs in film? Is a panel about Spotify, is that a, something that should be part of music or is it something that should be part of interactive? These divisions, which seemed pretty clear when we started this thing 20 years ago, 25 years ago, really have become very, very arbitrary. I love what we do. I love the fact that we create this platform for discovery where people can find each other or ideas or art, film, music, whatever it is, and connect. And getting to watch those connections kind of keeps me going and is why I've been in this for so long. I feel kind of lucky that we have social media to expand our reach. We would have to rely on a lot more people than the small team that we have. I'm sure that we would exist, but it would just be in a different shape. It would also make our jobs a lot more difficult if we didn't have social media to kind of see on a, a large 10,000 foot view what is happening. South by Southwest has always been a place of discovery. It's part of the festival's ongoing mission to be a showcase of the most exciting things happening in art, culture, and technology. But what makes that mission succeed is a foundation of openness and a desire to connect that has given rise to countless apps, indie bands, and filmmakers who find not only an audience here, but a dialogue with their fans and peers that spur them on to their next great endeavor, making South by Southwest one of the most uniquely social experiences in the world.